Hello everyone, welcome back to my new fly career in Microsoft Flight Sim. I am still flying the DC-3 in India, though I hope to upgrade to the C-46, assuming that it is an upgrade. It's cheaper, but it seems to be an upgrade. Uh, but first, I need to rack up a little bit more money because I still have this loan. I think just one more flight will be enough to pay it off. And so, I'm going to pick up this flight to deliver some magazines over to VAAR. It's not the most lucrative flight, but I wanted to do it because it'll get me into central India and that will sort of allow me to access airports so far I have not been able to. We keep seeming to go back and forth along northern India along the Ganges River and I would like to see if we can visit some of southern India before I move on to other countries, uh, possibly with the C-46. So. With that in mind, I'm going to pick up this particular mission, which is not a high-level mission. It doesn't have any special requirements, just deliver the magazines. So, adding that, and let me make sure... I mean, I think we should just go with the fuel that I already have loaded. 4,979 altogether here. Well... A little bit overdoing it, but that's okay. And then the arrival is VAAR, which is a smallish airfield, does not have ATC. So, well, hopefully the weather will be better down there. Welcome back, Captain. It looks like the weather is perfect for flying. <laughs> well, the weather is definitely per not perfect for flying here, but uh, Neofly does not apparently know that. Okay, it's all right. Flying from Gaia on down to Amravati. Amravati airstrip. B A A R. Okay. Right, we are off. Transporter, have a nice flight. All right, well, it is a nicer day than the weather report in the menu seemed to suggest. All right, up we go. We're through 4,200 feet and climbing. It'll be about a two and a half hour trip. Well, I'm just trying to get through the clouds here, really. It's, it is a lot of clouds. Mostly sunny day on the ground, but definitely a cloudy sky. Alright, sort of getting above some of the clouds here. But I'll just level out at 10,000. Well, suddenly we're going at a ground speed of 234. We must have a heck of a wind. Okay, well, suddenly the performance of the engine changed to... sort of stabilizing here. Two hundred and thirty five, well we'll get there a lot earlier than I thought. One hour and forty six minutes right now on the GPS. So I'm not complaining, though we better not go any faster, otherwise the plane will start to complain about that. Hang out at nearly 10,500 feet. Well, things have gotten a little bit crazy here. Um, we've got 30 knot tailwind and we're going 270 knots. 
I've pulled back on the throttle, you can see the manifold pressure is now, you know, way below the green zone here, just at 34. So I'm slowing down and hope that the plane doesn't complain so much. But yeah, we're getting pushed quite a lot here. Okay, well, it's not sounding too bad now, so I'll, oop, I'll give it a little bit more juice. Maybe it was just in that cloud. Now I'll have to throttle all the way back to the top of the green zone, it looks like. Yeah, just a cloud where we were going really fast, apparently. This is what the scene looks like. I don't see any huge clouds in the near term here, so it should be alright. Alright, progress report. We have one hour to go. 59 minutes according to the GPS. 219 knot ground speed. And we are currently there. Approaching Pichia. That is an interesting name for a city. Pichia? Maybe Pichia. The two H's are definitely throwing me off there. Pichia? Well, fewer clouds up front. The landscape is the usual sort of tans and greens. And we have no problems with the fuel or anything like that. 10,400 feet according to me, though 10,550 according to Sky for Sim. And yep, we're right on the line. 211 nautical miles away from our target. Alright, about 14 minutes to go now, under 50 nautical miles away from our destination. We seem to be south of Bhopal, that's the largest city that I can recognize around here. And... Yep, pretty much. <laughs> so, well, still have a lot to learn about Indian geography, that's for sure. And I think I'm going to begin to descend. But gradually. And the skies are mostly clear. So that's good. Though with my luck it'll say that it's IFR only when we get there and then suddenly a layer of fog pops up. At least that's what happened before, so... Well, there's no ATC. I'll just try and communicate Well, we should be really past that. No, well, guess we've got that much clearance. And there we are. Well, they're being very helpful today. Maintain present heading and altitude, Ray Eyes, Romeo Alpha 412. Well, um, I'm actually going to be turning towards the airport. I don't know where I'll see it or not, but we'll find out. There's no way I'd see it if I was going in at the same heading and altitude, that's for sure. That would have been not possible. Airport's at 1,100 feet. Well, I think I can see it. I thought we didn't have 
ATC coming into this, but Mumbai Center is doing everything. We are a long way from Mumbai for them to be playing ATC with this thing. Okay, we have cleared the runway. I guess this is parking. There's as much parking as we're gonna get around here. It was a rough landing, yes, but it's a rough airport, so I'm gonna take it. Two hours and 18 Island, minutes. Stand by. The cargo is being removed. They didn't require us to be gentle, so took my liberties. 4,809 pounds of magazines. Transporter. Another cargo mission completed. All right. Thanks, and see you soon. 899. And, well, shucks, I'll pay this back. Everything is on board. All right. I have repaid the loan. I have no more loans. We are free and clear. And next time around, though I still have some money for paying for the rent on the plane and also for the fuel and next time up I'm gonna try and make the money to get the C-47 I don't think there's a C-47 at this airport oh sorry C-46 this is the DC-3 is already a C-47 but um, there's a lot of C-47s around it's not here there's a new one there but I don't need a new one they're uh, they're pretty far away right now at least rental ones, and I definitely want a rental one. They're all up north. So if you want to get the C-46, I'll have to go back up north. It is now the next day for me, though it is the same video for you, the viewers. And so for my second flight, I am going to go for this one to VIAG, which is Agra Air Base. And I am supposed to be carrying 5,621 pounds of flowers, which is a lot of flowers. That is a lot of flowers. And the flight time must not exceed 3 hours and 16 minutes. I think that's the best bet. Uh, otherwise, we've got the most lucrative one goes to Katak. But uh, I think we want to go north because when we take a look at where the C-46s are, well... There's, there's some in Nepal, apparently, but otherwise, I mean, Nepal's in the north, and in general, all of them seem to be in the north from where we are. So we're going to head back up north, because then at least the location where these are at will be closer to where we are, and it won't cost as much to ferry them over. So that is my logic. But I also do have the Boeing 307, the Stratoliner, but... There isn't a rental one available right now, so there's only purchase ones available, but I did look for those. So, all right, we're basically going straight north, and I'm picking this one up, and it is a huge heavy load of flowers. Now, I do have to manage to fuel. Uh, I'll get, I'll just get as much fuel as I can. Just to be safe, though that might not be safe safe, because I have to take off from this airfield, which is relatively short, 4,000, but it still should be manageable. Well, that's close enough to our fuel load, and then the payload. Well, apparently it isn't letting me load the full 5,621 in here, so I'll just cut the fuel down, actually. Then I actually have to load 5,791 because I have to include my own weight. Transporter from dispatch. You must deliver express packages before the deadline. This time, don't waste time. This time? I never waste time. 
Alright, payload is good. And that's where we're going. Alright. Come on. I've got the tailwheel down. I'm pulling up so that I keep the tailwheel down. Okay, off we go. Transporter, good flight. All right, turning. All right, we are on our way. Should be about a two hour flight. And a sunnier day. So currently we're in the state of Maharashtra and then we're going to be going through Madhya Pradesh. On up. And then a bit of Rajasthan I guess. So we can see the borders on the map here. So Maharashtra for a little bit and then we can see the dotted line on the Sky for Sim map. And then after that it's Madhya Pradesh. I guess we don't really go over much of Rajasthan. Just a tiny, tiny, tiny little bit. And then we'll be in Uttar Pradesh. All things considered, I don't think there's any point going too high. So I'll level out at 5,000 feet. We do have a headwind of 24 knots, so it's going to be a little bit slower. Last time it was faster than expected, this time it will be slower than expected. Well, as we go up, the wind is actually weakening, contrary to normal tendencies, so uh, I'll try and climb a little bit more to see where that might be best. Like right now, it's at 21 knots instead of 24. Okay, well, here at 7,000 feet, the headwind is only 15 knots, so I'll take that. For all I know, going up will continue to make the headwind go down, but I'll take 15 knots. It'll be worth it to be able to see the ground properly. Hey, there's some nice green farms here, too. Well, actually, no. The, the green patches are the trees, apparently. Uh, some greenish farms. Alright, so level at 7,000. 178 knots, but rising a little bit because we just leveled out. And about two hours for the trip. Well, this reservoir over here is right on the border of the states. That's the Purna Dam. Well, the dam is what's creating the reservoir. You can see the dam there. Not a full rendered uh, object, not a proper point of interest, just... But at least we can sort of make it out. no name for the lake on the map but maybe the lake is just named after the dam well somewhere to the left there is the city of Bhopal but I'm not high enough I think to really get a sighting of it so yep cruising along at 7000 doesn't give me a whole lot of scope for seeing distant things but I'm keeping to our track and not deviating. So I'm right there. Oh. Yeah. And there's clouds now. I'm not going to be able to see much of that. But we are... We're around here. 
One hour and 22 minutes left in the flight. All right, about 32 minutes away from the destination, we're in Madav National Park, or the extension to Madav National Park here, and close to Shivpuri, and over a lake. Well, it's the Sindh River, and there's probably a dam up there. Just looking at the shape of the river, that seems probable. So this is what their rendition of it looks like. Here, I mean, there's a weird channel thing going in the middle of this. I'm not too sure what that... Seems like there's two different versions of this body of water that are competing here, basically, as far as I can tell. But yeah, there's probably supposed to be a dam over there, and this time there's no actual sign of it there. Anyway, that is where I'm at. 193 knots ground speed, well 92 now. And chugging right along. A little bit under an hour of fuel left, but only half an hour to go. Haven't been trying to be very efficient with the fuel. Currently the headwind is 13 knots. We're passing a fairly big city, Gwalior, there, but uh, maybe too far in the distance for us to see. And then Marina, and then Agra. Alright, well, admittedly a little, little bit late for descent here, as I'm only 12 nautical miles out. But here we go. Agra Air Base, Tower, request full stop landing. Oh, we might have to ignore weather, really? I guess there's some clouds up front. Uh-huh. Well, why don't we fly over to Taj Mahal first? While we're here. I mean, there's Agra Air Base anyway. Well, we're not even lined up yet. So the city of Agra and the Taj Mahal is right by the river and in this case the river is the Yamuna River. Interesting how the buildings sort of cluster right in front of it. Bet there's lots of people trying to sell stuff. Uh, anyway, uh, for tourists, right? I mean... There's a lot of tourist shops right in front, I'm sure. Anyway, the Taj Mahal. And we'll turn around for the landing. The top dome on the 3D model, I'm, I'm not sure that's shaped like that. Anyway, that looked a little bit weird. Hey, I was cleared to land. I saw an airliner there. I was definitely cleared to land. Now it's been a while. I better move. Ah, uh, there was a crosswind earlier, but uh, now there's none down here. Okay. Oh, come on, tail gear. Come on, tail gear. Oh, boy. Alpha. 75 knots, negative 15, it says. Uh, you know, the feet per minute doesn't always indicate a good landing in that case. Okay, I'm going behind you, little Ben. Just safer that way. 
a bus and a bunch of other vehicles just sitting there. Uh, they're really giving me the run around. They could have just let me park right here somewhere. Uh, I'm a little bit off. Okay. Well, Transporter. we are here. Cargo unloading in Two hours and twenty Stand minutes. By, pilot. The only requirement was flight time must not exceed three hours and sixteen minutes. Long way until I get the next rank, senior completed. captain. Thanks, and see you soon. Okay, XP for Denline Cargo. And we got 249,000 altogether from Start that. Your engine. So, let's see. Airport, uh, I mean the aircraft market. Well, 241, 267, 227, 227,000 is not too bad. And then this one is 211,000 even. This one's the closest, it's just south of Gwalior there. Um, it's not like it's banged up or anything. I mean, yes, it's a Japanese air defense force thing, but it can still fly the regional airline stuff, passenger, express, humanitarian, the whole general nine yards, if you will. So I don't see why I would pay for something that's more than that. 211000 would be fine. I'm going to rent that one. Yes. And I am going to bring it over here. Bring this aircraft to pilot location. 2,000. Sure. So we've got it here. It's going to take a lot to run it because uh, it takes like double the fuel. But that's only potentially. It can also carry much more cargo. This... DC-3 can only carry 6,000 pounds payload. The useful load on the C-46 is nearly 20,000 pounds. So, that's good. And I can dump the DC-3 in in theory right now. Is there, I mean, there's no harm in that. There are plenty of other DC-3s around, right? Right? Just in case I want to go back. I think I should fly one flight with the C-46 just to make sure I'm happy with it before I dump the DC-3. Because uh, looking at it, I don't know if uh, I get as sweet a deal with the other DC-3s. If we take a look, uh, that's 907,000 and that's 892,000. So those are both more expensive. So maybe I'll, maybe I'll wait a little bit and try this one out but I think I'll have to refresh because it's not gonna give me stuff that's up to my weight all the stuff all the missions that we have here are at the DC-3 weight and not the weight that the C-46 can carry so I'll have to let it refresh all that and just restarting doesn't tend to it like takes a day for some reason so, or at least that's been my experience. So, uh, yep, I'll be looking for a mission that can carry the full weight that the C-46 can, but for a short distance. For a short distance. Just to see how it is. So that I can scramble back to the DC-3 if it turns out that I'm not happy with it. Anyway, so, new plane has been acquired. Oh, those props are stuttering for some reason. Anyway, we are here in Agra, and I'll pick it up here next time. So with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.